fuck with the sound of that, man. Yeah, so I know. What's up, y'all? It's the Open Exchange Podcast. My name is Nate. Booby. Dom. Lex. Juni. And here we are today. This is our fifth episode, right? Yeah, fifth episode. Yeah. So um, we can start it off. How was everybody's Thanksgiving, son? It was interesting. I mean, I gotta say, cause like, you don't gather around with family and everything, you know, cause of Rona, but it was interesting yeah. just to be at home. But it was pretty cool though, at the same time. I was just pranking. Nah, I'm lying. I was in like editing and I just played too bad. I ate like five times, but mm-hmm. I should have said. You was high as fuck leading into that shit. Yeah. You made my night. <laughs> yeah. Nigga, take it back to it. Yeah, check my IG soon. So he was up. Sidebar, all the videos that he sent me, them just gonna go on the TikTok. We gonna make a TikTok for this shit. Don't worry. Like, every time you come around doing a holiday, you always wanna be in a little corner on your phone. I can ask my phone. Like, bitch, you had 12 abortions when you went away to college, and you was sucking. Okay, and you, I'd rather have 12 abortions than be a bitch that almost fucking OD'd on coke, and that's why she lost her baby. You said video? Nigga, this nigga funny as hell. I'm gonna show you what shit's afterwards. This nigga is funny as hell. But, uh. <laughs> you know? He said, you know, you know what I do. But, uh, nah, sober Dom and high Dom, yo. Yo. But, nah, my Thanksgiving was amazing. Cause, um, I got to eat and I didn't talk to no one. Mm-hmm. She was amazing. Yeah, so There's a family that be coming over. You don't really want to talk to them. You just be like, this dumbass cousin coming today. I don't feel like talking to you. <laughs> For real, that's how it be. So I feel mm-hmm. on that one. I've never really been big on, on Thanksgiving. It's like far as holidays. I've never been big on Christmas in general. It wasn't until I got older, like I really fuck with Christmas. And that's only because like I have y'all around type shit. Mm-hmm. So, Seek your sin. You saw what? Seek your sin. I mean, we can do that. Yeah. We can do that, but I meant like in past years, like well, how long has it been? Like last like five, four or five years? We were doing Christmas on my crib? Yeah, you want to Yeah, as long as I can remember. About that. I mean, even before like we, we made it an event, niggas always came to my crib and like watched basketball the whole day. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's dead. Yeah. That's dead. What about you, Floyd? Uh, my Christmas was, oh, Christmas. <laughs> Merry Christmas, everybody. Oh, boy. Yeah. Merry Christmas, everyone. It's definitely Thanksgiving. Definitely Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. He said it to me. Definitely I, I Thanksgiving. called him. I'm like, bro, you're an idiot. Like, <laughs> nah, bro. It was so funny. I was thinking, I was like, I hope I don't mess up. And I said that. I'm like, wait. All right. You said Rohan, right? Rohan yeah. Is the reason. Yeah. How's it going? Yeah. Nah, I meant my, <laughs> my Thanksgiving. It was cool. I see my um, aunt that I haven't seen in a minute. Mm-hmm. Couple, couple family members I seen in the crib. Um, ate. Got a famous cheesecake that she makes maybe. Thanksgiving. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Um, it's funny. I came back home and just chilled by myself. She put crack in that cheesecake. I'm convinced. Is that true? No, she don't. Do <laughs> she don't put Junior's cheesecake is dirt compared to her shit, bro. I appreciate that. Dirt. <laughs> it's, it's dirt. He made it like thank you. Where? <laughs> nah, it, nah, it is. It is good though. Mm. But um, yeah, and we do nothing too crazy. Mm. Regular shit. Mm. Just came home and then sure. was online, was listening to music, mm. chilling by myself. Bye, bye, bye. What's up? Same, same to me. I mean, yeah, I saw him on like Instagram, Gabby yeah, being a buffoon. <laughs> but it was dope. My dad came through. Wait, who would be in a buffoon? Gabby. My sister. Oh. <laughs> okay. Whatever shit. Um, it was cool though. I fucked up family eating. God, I was out to the nigga had 6 a.m. right after for Black Friday, so. See? I wanted to go outside, because I set myself to go outside. I was going to go to Jersey Mall. And then. I thought about it. I was like, nah, I don't want to go again. I was like, nah, I'm not. Like, fuck it. I was good online. I was doing my shopping online. 
Yeah, I'm gonna do Black Friday. I don't got the patience, no. Like, yeah, bro. Okay. Dude, I used to do that Black Friday shit when I was younger for sneakers. With my mom. Yeah, I don't need to go out for sneakers. It's too much to do with. Yeah, I'm too temperamental for Black Friday. Yeah, bro. I like my personal space. Even before all this mm-hmm. like social distance thing. Mm-hmm. So like, I'm not about to be one. I'm not going to wait at 4 a.m. outside for door bus and shit. And as soon as shit open, niggas trying to run me over. That's that's I'm good. That's my thing, right? Because you see how stores <laughs> super open up with no. I ain't another no guy over like, restrictions. Yeah, no restrictions. Black Friday, Black Friday yeah. at all. No, what's? I didn't hear nothing. I'm saying I didn't. Oh yeah, no, yeah. I, didn't, I, didn't no, I have went out. They I had seen videos. Own. I didn't even see nothing. Yeah, they had like long lines. It was very calm, but like they had long ass lines. Like they were literally, um, like, I guess like a certain at the time. Yeah, something like that. So when someone come out, the next person going to like, yeah, the game stop. I, I seen a couple posts. Game. Niggas said everything shut down for COVID except Black Friday. Mm-hmm. Like, Hey man, yeah. capitalism run the world. Yeah, man, I'm sorry. I mean, I, also, I got a question for y'all because um, Leon, you kind of started. To say, actually, y'all kind of said it. Like, how do y'all feel about the holidays? Then you know what I'm saying? Like personally, like like what holidays? Yeah. I guess. I mean, I was talking about the main, the big ones. The main probably like Thanksgiving, holidays. Thanksgiving, Christmas, New Year's, mm-hmm. and New Year. Yeah, I guess I thought New Year's. Even. Yeah, New Year's is in there too. I mean, Not, I can't talk. Let me see. Um, what my question? What's your favorite holiday? And then also, how do how, how do you feel about the holidays, person? Oh, uh, well, I know me personally. I don't. I don't have a favorite holiday. Um, Christmas, I don't care for. Thanksgiving, I don't care for. I mean, they just family gatherings. But to me, it's all. It's mostly just fake energy. So mm. I never really, cause like. It'd be people that that you would have they know you for so long, but they only reach out to you on those holidays. So it's like, but you didn't know me the week before. So like, the fuck, I'm not your cousin only on this holiday. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's what you're saying. So it's like I never. And then on Christmas, uh, my great grand that's why I saw birthday. My great grandmother who passed away. So I don't really really care for it mm-hmm. that much. Mm-hmm. For me, it's Thanksgiving. Mm-hmm. Like my family is pretty tight, so. You know, like you've been like the last yeah. couple of Thanksgiving you've been at my That's what I'm saying. I don't even spend Thanksgiving with my Yeah, even spending it with his. So, like, you know, they the yeah, whole wow. family is chilling. With, so that, for me, that's, for me, I love doing that. That's mm-hmm. that's all I know. So, Thanksgiving for me, I don't really care about Christmas, too. I'm not really big on I never really got gifts on Christmas. Mm-hmm. <laughs> always after. So, yeah. <laughs> always after. So, not really big on that. New Year's. Cause that's when everything cheaper. Yeah, that's true. Shit that they didn't get rid of during, during that Black Friday, Christmas time. Mm-hmm. She go on sale after that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but I had to learn that though. I didn't. I had to learn that. Cause my cousins like the same thing. I go to my cousins' crib and they got wild gifts. Like mm-hmm. the Christmas trees looking crazy. Yeah. But I had to understand like it's not like I can't get no gifts. I I just don't get gifts on this day. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Same mm-hmm. shit about like, my birthday. I really don't. Unless I'm giving myself a gift, I really don't get shit on birthday either. For me, with well, holidays, the- it's always, it's never really been a big thing, like a, a topic of focus. Growing up, it was really just like a day off from school or yeah. that, that little break from school. Mm-hmm. Or you get older, it's like, okay, you realize a lot of these holidays really ain't shit because you ain't getting time and a half from work and you're not getting work off. So, <laughs> so, about it. so you really don't do a problem about it. Cause I was talking about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I for a while. Oh, yeah, I that. <laughs> yeah. We're gonna get to these. Like, oh, we're do it. And then, like, like yeah. so many <laughs> gifts. Like, I'm always like made a tremendous effort to get me. I wouldn't say whatever I want, but like you know, get me something on Christmas, something that I wanted for a minute, myself and my brother. Yeah. However, like it wasn't really that big a thing because. I realized like late that it ain't all about me. And then also we wasn't rich. Cause I remember when I was younger, I thought, was, I thought we had bread, like super bread. Mm-hmm. Cause I never really noticed what we did have. Cause my mom always had it for me. You know what I mean? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So it wasn't until I got older and you know, you look back and you're like, oh, okay. I mean, you did That's not really that. normal. You don't know that till you start interacting with other people more, yeah. going up to other people's houses and shit. Cause I never really, my mom never let me go to people's houses when I was younger. 
Mm-hmm. The other thing is like people kind of mock her. That was a more controlled setting where she was okay with like me hanging out with people. So, yeah. Mm-hmm. I gotta say for me, I would say Christmas. And it's not even like for the gifts. Like I feel like gifts kind of slowed down as I got older. I mean like, as for anybody probably. But um, even Christmas, like even without getting gifts, I just like to be around the vibe of family and everything. Like they're pretty like cool, you know? Mm-hmm. Um, even if it's like the little kids getting gifts, I'm just like, I'm happy that they're happy, you know? Yeah, it would be. Because that feeling is just great, you know? That Halloween. I like Halloween. Mm-hmm. But like, Halloween. yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is Halloween a real holiday? Not really. Not really. But like, I just like the, like when people dress up. Like they get creative with it. We I like that. We know. Let me like, <laughs> comment on Halloween real quickly. We know. Let me comment on Halloween real quickly. Uh-huh. I grew up super Christian. Okay. So there wasn't no Halloween parties, no dressing up, no trick or treating. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that was the devil's day. It was the devil's day. Mm-hmm. We didn't have no Halloween parties in church. We had a hallelujah party. If you if you went <laughs> to church, you knew what a hallelujah party was. Like. <laughs> Praise <laughs> Jesus. So that's what you that's what they called it. You gonna go to church. Yeah. Stay you, safe. You still get your, you still get your candy, you know they got the bake sale, all that shit. Stay safe right here. Yeah. There wasn't nothing there wasn't nothing for that. And then you know I, I, I feel like that shit. as you get older you stray away from the church, you start to realize the true marvel of Halloween. You know you get to college or the show these dress up wild crazy. That's it. But I ain't, I never had patience with Halloween, you know. Cause like again, people just be doing too fucking much. <laughs> oh yeah, so don't thing. jump you out from the hood. Because if you jump out on me and I punch you like oh, yeah. you yeah, not even just that. Yeah, you from the hood, you know what Halloween is. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's not really Halloween. It's not Halloween, bro. <laughs> yeah, that too. I, I I personally didn't like Halloween because like my mom, she would let me gather all the candy, but I can't eat the bitch. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, you can't have it. So wait, so what would you do with the candy? It's just sitting there or it just don't. You get like two pieces a week or type shit. Tight. <laughs> or like eventually I just don't see them. Like Rush. I know that shit. I know that shit. That shit stayed in a little little change shit in yeah, your pop's car. Yeah, candy corn? Nah, he ain't candy corn. Okay, all right, okay. That shit is disgusting. I don't you like candy corn. Oh, I'm making sure, bro. I know people that really love that shit. Yeah, my brother do. I don't know. What? Fuck, fuck, fuck. Taryn. For a Halloween though. Did y'all like trick or treat at actual doors or like the corner store? Never did it. I don't know the corner store. I never, uh, I never even got to touch outside. Never went to trick or treat the other? Because like I said, it was like, but not maybe I was a weird kid, bro. I didn't like a lot of shit. Like, you feel me? So, you feel me? Like, I was like, Grinch from me. I was like, 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 I never was like, I was like, she would, she would get the candy for people and I eat them shit so they can't get it. Like, shit. This nigga, I would hide it so they can't get it. This nigga's a menace, bro. I keep saying this shit. She's a menace. She actually can't buy it for me. That's how you know. That's how you know he don't like the shit. Every holiday. Nah. Did she even like the candy? You was, you was eating it? I'm going to go to the school and show it. Hey, hustle, man. Hustle, hustle okay. mindset. Oh, I got money, though. Mm-hmm. You say, you know what? This is my candy, nigga. It's green. As long as he had the school, straight one. <laughs> <laughs> nah. <laughs> <laughs> what about what about y'all? Yeah, used to trick or treat at uh, yeah, stores. Yeah, cause I I used to live in the suburbs. Store, huh? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You said corner stores. Yeah, I would have went to corner stores. Oh, okay. Corner stores yeah. give you a lot. Give you a lot. So you just so I go like, you know, I did like a five like a four block radius. From my, it's my it's my out of route. Where? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. It's a corner store every block mm-hmm. on both sides. So that's me. <laughs> so I go that one, that one, that one, that one. Next block, that one. Like yeah. Lit, so call me. Like how much candy per store you? Nah, I would really like get like a whole cup of candy. Nah, the, the the corner stores where they bless you. Okay. You, ever, you, ever, you, ever, you ever seen like the um the uh the uh, buckets <laughs> like the um the pumpkin buckets? Yeah, yeah. Them shit. No, mm-hmm. maybe pumpkins too. I should be super full. I hate pumpkins, bro. I love pumpkin pie though, but I hate pumpkin. Pumpkin pie is mid. Wait, because I don't like the fact that you cut it out and put a candle in it to make it scary. Like, oh, okay, yeah, that was always weird. Oh, okay. I never really knew like the history behind that. I probably got to research. Yeah, yeah like you feel me? Like I know, I know what it was though. I think it was because somebody tried to hit me with a pumpkin. So like that. I just told them every episode we I learn we get like another thing. I just want this. I want this. I want this facility to be like story time with Dom. That's what I just yeah. Can we do that? Like yeah, nah, you know. It was just, you feel me? So we was going to Bayview, and then it was around Halloween and shit, cause you know, niggas was a badass kid. 
and then niggas was throwing them Jesus small ass pumpkins. Like, we or you? Oh, we to you. Hit your head? Maybe, but they was throwing them, but only I felt like only I kept getting hit. My thing is, you not have your pumpkins. No, the little ones, the baby. Oh, okay. You got in your head. Oh, they were getting ch- yeah. chucking them shit. I think I was up. fucked up ever since. A week. Yo, my freshman year of college, they smashed the pumpkin in the shower. That's bro. all college shit. Yeah. OD. OD. Like, that's, 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 what I, that's what I seen, that's bro. What I that's what I said. So I remember when it happened. I'm like, yo, who did that shit? No one want to say nothing. They were saying like, oh, it wasn't nobody from our floor. The whole floor, they had a meeting the next, the, the, the Sunday afterwards. Niggas was like, yo, y'all got to apologize to the cleaning lady. Because da da da. First of all, the cleaning lady was old. Yeah, she is, but it's not from the like. Yeah, yeah not, not, not no excessive yeah. shit like that. that that's that was like, like the old saying. You know I'm saying like 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 the garbage men outside. The garbage right there, but because this is y'all pick up shit and throw it on the floor just cause. Like, yeah, you could have been that's excessive. Like, not even that. Yeah. There wasn't no small pumpkin. Niggas specifically had a pumpkin. It was like let me smash this shit in the shower. It should be hilarious. Okay. Oh, okay. My and the cleaning lady had I cancer, bro. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. So it's like yeah, y'all niggas is foul. Yeah. Wait, she's still alive or she passed? I don't know. That was our freshman year was twenty twelve, so I don't I don't really remember. I hope she survived. Yeah, I hope so. I hope she yeah, beat that shit. No. I don't I don't like the I mean I don't really care for the holidays. Like like booby, like you realize like the gifts you get, you kinda of start doing them down. I don't even remember honestly two Christmases that I got mad gifts and after that it was like you got one gift and then you know hey, straight, you know what I mean? Christmas. Also the quality of gifts. If I was younger and I got socks, I would have hated that shit. Yeah. I would, you know, you see that shit like on cartoons <laughs> or like yeah. whatever. Now I'm just like, yo, you buy me some socks, I'm I'm lit. That's a fact. I, I need new white socks. I need new black socks. Mm-hmm. I need I new that's because shirts. that's because you find. I guess when we grow up, we finally realize like the things we want aren't necessarily like that necessity. You know what I'm saying? Like we find we find we find pleasure in the little things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Od. It's like also oh, you always need new socks. You always need new underwear. Mm-hmm. I just don't even want to buy that shit sometimes. Mm-hmm. The essential shit. So yeah. You got holy drawers, you saying? Oh no, no, no! no. <laughs> I bought new drawers like what, like two, three weeks ago. No, I went to Walmart. Just making sure. Just sure. I told you, like, it was like twice I left for two days in a row. I'm like, yo, I gotta go to Century Twenty One. Sold out. Got to Marshall. <laughs> Sold out. Nah, because Century Twenty One bought my job. They going out of business. I think all Century Twenty One. Yeah. <laughs> Down the yeah. they're closing. Yeah. yeah. So all them shits they sell like seventy percent off. So I'm like, let me go get some drawers. Mm-hmm. Out, bro. Only got like smalls and mediums. I was like, I can't. Can't rock with that. Went to Marshalls. <laughs> Yo, he's rolling on this. I'm just saying, no, he's, rolling on this. Up. he's rolling on this. He's rolling on this. Tommy John's too. Yeah. Now Marshalls be having Yo, oh, oh, he he having oh, oh, too. That's so the crazy. fact. I went to um Marshalls. I got uh I got five packs. Yeah, five packs with four in one pack. So I got mm-hmm. twenty That's Calvin right. Klein joints. Mm-hmm. Each is like fifteen bucks. Mm-hmm. I'm saying That's funny. regular I'm price is like thirty four. I went stupid. Mm-hmm. Regular price was just thirty four. Like yeah, these are stupid. Yeah, like, I excited on that. Mm-hmm. I hate that shit. Yeah. No, but I mean, so so we talk about gifts. What's it? I guess for right now, twenty twenty. I know a lot of us don't care for Christmas, but like, what's your ideal gift? So, 2020. for 2020, <laughs> he was prepared. <laughs> my yeah. gift, anybody watching this that love me, that want me to love him back, <laughs> it's a PS5. You give me a PS5, I will love you. Yeah. You gotta go above and beyond for that shit now. Yeah, why? You gotta <laughs> why? Why? You act like we ain't been tra- I'm not saying you gotta go above and beyond. I mean, like, whoever buying that shit. How long you been? How long you been? What he said? What he said? Wait, what he said? Yo, it's just the man in his hand. What are you doing? What are you doing? He took to his hat and said, You gotta suck some dicks. <laughs> and then he just looked at me. I mean, I don't. He looked at me like, I don't want to suck some dicks again. Come on. 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 Come
Yeah. Call me. That's not a regular bed. No, he got like set up. Look on the like, air mattress. Yeah, probably, 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 probably. Look on the overview though, right? So like, okay, so you first in line and you take a nap in the bed. I would just walk around you. So yeah, you are you mind for that? You just move it up as the line moves? Like how does that go? But for a picture that I've seen, he first in line. Uh, oh, he's at the door. He's at the door. Mm -hmm. oh, that's a picture I see. Nigga, I would have plastered myself to the doors. And, mm -hmm. <laughs> I ain't My thing is, like, I don't want to sleep in public like that. Yeah, My thing is, like, I wouldn't even feel comfortable doing nothing like that. Oh. Uh, granted, you remember back in the day, we used to look, wait online for sneakers. I didn't even do it that much. I think I did it like twice. I did once with Laquan, and then I did. This, uh, no, I did twice with Laquan, and I did one time y'all was there. Y'all niggas wasn't even waiting with us. Me and Laquan waited damn near the whole night. Y'all came in like two hours before the store opened and cut with us. I mean, hey, you know, that's... Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I ain't mad, because I was gonna wait anyway, but I was just like, shit. You know what I mean? That's what happened. Y'all got um, like a favorite, like, holiday movie? Like, uh, yeah, yeah. You know, that shit? Ooh, Nightmare Before Christmas. That's a nice goal before Christmas. Goal level, top tier. Phenomenal. So, nah, like I'm living next to Halloween and then you got Christmas after that. That's tough. Mm. Holiday. Oh, the only kind of my mind is Friday at the next. Mm. Okay. 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 Yeah, yeah, okay. I mean, my only one would probably be basketball. Like the Dish Games or something. Mm. <laughs> 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 I was thinking like, that's a movie. I I think I heard a show. I heard a movie. That's a movie. He said a movie. You know what he said? Oh, I know. I said what I said. Can you re answer that? You gotta re answer it. I stand by what I said. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, so to rephrase what you said, not movie, which you no, like to movie. watch. What's your favorite? Holiday movie. I think for him, he, he don't have one. He just wants the best one. Thank you. Thank you. That's a man that's not here before Christmas. That shit is is that a scary movie? I don't watch TV, so I don't know. No, it's a Disney movie, actually. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. that's it. His name Jack. This is Jack a, this is a debate yeah. about that. Because they were trying to debate, is that a Christmas movie or is it a holiday, uh, Halloween yeah. movie? Yeah. I just told y'all. I, I told y'all it's both. It's, uh, yeah. To me, it's a Christmas movie. Yeah. It's, it's a Christmas movie. movie. But I think it's holiday because I see that um, Who would it? The skeleton. Who would it? It's like an animated um, movie. So, mm -hmm. Jack Skeleton. Basically, this guy, he's like the king of Halloween type shit. And every Halloween, they have like, this huge festivity in his town. But every time he gets bored of the shit, so he, now he wants to do something different. He f wanders around, falls into a door that has a Christmas tree on it, finds fucking Christmas land or whatever. And now he wants to bring Christmas to Halloween type shit. Or actually, you know, Halloween to Christmas. Like it's like scary, dark shit. And basically, he ends up fucking Christmas up. And then he got to save it, whatever. That was my shit. I used to be scared of it, but now I'm like, nah, these, and the musical numbers on that shit, it's fire. Mm -hmm. Fire. So I got, yo, that's Tim Burton, though. Oh, my, you better, it's Tim Burton. Tim Burton, anything, you do a little musical shit. Some cool line, fuck, yeah, that's all, all that shit's fire. Mm -hmm. I got three. I got three. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, my bad. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you gotta get cultured on that. You ain't have no chocolate, so I'm not. Bro, I'm saying, this thing is different. <laughs> Well, but anyway, I got his hat. And I'm mad because he's dead. Yeah. I'm like, what happened? I'm lying. His hat. Yes, bro. You look like one of them niggas. So you remember VH1 they had G's and Gents? <laughs> you like one of them niggas. Yeah. Like, who that? Who that? I'm going to take that as a sign. I don't think it's a sign. So you remember back in the day, VH1 had a whole no, no, the reality shows? So like all the niggas, they, there was like all the dudes that was on like I Love New York and shit like that. Remember real, acting real, crazy, real, real, real chance. chance. Yeah, yeah. nigga chance. Okay. All the niggas that bugging out on that. Niggas. They have full on suits with a dude right on the fit. <laughs> yeah, bro. Yes, niggas would have a full on blazer, sweater vest, do rag, hat tilted to the side. That's fine. And the hat is always colorful. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Let me see. <laughs> Oh, you looked up, um, <laughs> you looked it up? The movie? Jesus like, before Jesus. Christmas? No, 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 he's a gesture. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> no, he... <laughs> 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 it's like, no more, no more of that shit, sir. But nah, uh, the holiday shits, I got three. Mm. This Christmas. Mm. 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 I forgot about that. Uh, last holiday, Queen Latifah and LL Cool J. I saw that. I saw that too. And then, um, Best Man Holiday. Yes, mm. Go. Can you watch those on around the holiday? Yeah, they, it's always on like TBS or some shit like that. You know what I mean? Uh, I, don't, I don't watch that. 
Y'all got them just like on DVD or nothing, but like they was always on TBS or something. Maybe Devil would have like a DVD. Yeah, they would be surprised. What do you mean? Not DVDs, but like like Christmas, like holiday specified. Oh, like like a tradition every year we watch this. Yeah, I had that too. First couple seasons. Martin. Big bootleg. What about you, bro? Yeah, I said yeah. Friday after next. Man, he said Friday after next. Bad Basic. Why you said that? Bad Basic. Nah, I should be T-Bone. Yeah. How many times have you seen Baby Boy? Yeah. <laughs> I knew what Baby Boy was before I really knew what Baby Boy was. Like, no, I watched Baby Boy before you knew, before I knew like, what that shit was. Yeah. Oh, okay. I've never seen Baby Boy all the way through. I've always seen it in parts. I've never watched it from beginning to end. What, the holiday? No, Baby, baby boy, boy in general. Okay. Nah. I never watched the film. I watched it in parts all the time. That shit is annoying. But yeah, my fault. I don't really have a favorite one. I just like everything. Not everything, but like, I don't know, I don't have like a favorite. Cause you was watching elephant shit. Huh? You was watching elephant shit. Actually, yeah, I didn't Real like that when I was growing up. Yeah, yeah. Bro. Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't really like white Christmas movies, I ain't gonna hold you. Bro. Real for real funny. Oh, the, um, yeah, yeah. white Christmas movies? White Christmas movies, like white, like, oh, white oh, cats. Oh, yeah. I ain't gonna hold you, the, um, I think, what's this dude's name? That's one thing I used to watch. What's this dude's name? Christmas Story. Y'all never seen that? You like Christmas Story? Yeah, never saw that? It's sound for me. You ever seen um, Home Improvement? Yeah. Home Improvement. You used to be on um, Nick and Knight. I know nah, that's why I went to sleep. You know the home What's movie? the name of the main character? He was in some Christmas movies. It was like the Santa Claus or something like that. Uh, or like he became Santa type shit? Yeah. I know you I know you Yeah, about. that movie was GOAT. I ain't gonna hold you. I fucked with nah, that. I've never seen this shit. Oh, yeah. What's uh, the what's the Santa Claus, that's what it's called. The Santa Claus, yeah. yeah. What's that was that was it? Yeah. Was the Home Alone movies around Christmas? Yeah. Yeah, yeah you could definitely yeah, chalk that up. You could, you could put that in. Chalk that up with them too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree. Definitely Home Alone. That yeah. was, funny. was funny. Yeah. I was I was amazed how a nigga that small could do that. Where it was some elaborate plans. <laughs> Yo, bro, like, bro, I'm like, you know, get a sketch. Yeah. Like, I'm gonna get him right here, right here. <laughs> Come right here. Wasn't like, the, the Macaulay Culkin, right? Yeah. Wasn't yeah. he the one that sat on Michael Jackson? <laughs> Like Allegedly. Who is this? I mean, yeah, he did. He did. Yes, he, did. So he did. He did. He did. He wanted to make that came. Real quick, so before you get into that, um, <laughs> you looked at it as like, oh, this little nigga's mad tomorrow. I looked at it as this nigga definitely grew up to be a school shooter in the universe. Nah. nah. Definitely. Nah. Wait, definitely. wait, wait, wait. Nah. nah. That's, 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 he ain't give me school shooter vibes. He's a he domestic terrorist. He, oh, he gave bro, me, I'm going to protect my house. Friend, exactly. The first he, he gave me, I'm protecting my house. Are you really telling me he used those powers for good? He did. How many friends he had? He had his friends? Nah, he had, he had, he had a little muscle or something, didn't he? Oh, no, he did have friends. He did not. You think about Stuart Little? No, bro. He, he had, he had a little, a little, a little mouse or a cat or something. That's a friend? No. Nah, nah, he oh, had When you, when you but, young? I ain't never had a pet. That's fair. That's you, though. When you young, bro? But I had friends. <laughs> <laughs> when you was like seven, you had friends come over to the crib, y'all chill? That, yes. Hey, my cousins. <laughs> and that's what I mean. Yeah, it's his family, but his family kind of like was assholes. Yeah, his family called me left every, every, left him every, 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 every good. They didn't fuck with him. him. That's what I'm saying. You, you family your family don't give a fuck about you. You got no visible friends. friends. Like, you grew to be a school shooter. Yeah. Yeah. Nigga, they ain't showing up in no long ago. I just know if he had friends or not. Three. So you think, you mean to tell me left him home by himself three times for an extended amount of time? Come on, bro. It's a lot of information, so that's what we're doing. Nah, I didn't even hold you. But he was alone. Who said he said I'm Michael Jackson that? And he rolled so shoot my way. Exactly. You like Michael? Hell fucking day. As an as an artist. I'm about to say nigga, what a lot. He's an amazing artist. But like, he's still touching the boy, so I didn't even have to hold him. Anyway. Say it out there, y'all. No, I didn't say it. No, I actually want to know. Let's get into it. No, we want to dive into this, you know what I mean, bro? Like, what? Like, what, like, what what for you, at what point in his career, in your life, then you were like, he did that shit. Uh, like on some OJ shit, I ain't gonna he lie, did that bro. Shit. Okay, Have you ever seen lie. Michael Jackson with a woman just be like, oh, he fucking the shit out of her? No. no. But now that's because how he look, though. Now he's just that. <laughs> you can't blame him, son. His dad made sure that nigga look like a boy forever. Nah, okay. And beat the shit out of the bitch. Yeah, so like All right, boom. So I look at it, right? So once the allegations came up, I said, nah. But then I said, hold on, let's really think about it. Neverland Ranch. It's a big ass amusement park. Yeah, okay. Right? So, okay, boom, for, for women, right? For on one episode, he said he dressed in a certain way for women. Cologne, 
Twitter where I get to be full. No crop top though. But I see no crop top. Oh, he is? I'm not jacking that because it's not the crop top we were talking about. Oh, it's not crop, bro. Right. What's y'all about? What, 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 what did you just say earlier? He was like, Mom, this, this, this is crop top. No. All I do is I, I cut mean, off this part. You know what he said? Nah, that's, that's, not, that's not the one he said. That's not the Savant one. That's not the hoodie. Uh, we need crips like, look at this. You know what I'm saying, bro? bro. We talked about the shit last time. We shook on We shook on it. That's crazy. We shook on That's really wild. Are you a man of your word? That's crazy. This is a clip, bro. This is a clip, man. Making it seem like that I got a belly button crop top hoodie. I was drugging it. So, right. Okay, so this, so, yeah, this, this is how you prove it. This is how you prove it. When I'm ready to wear it, I'll wear it, nigga. So, what you basically, you know, I'm in this word. That's what we gotta. That's what I'm saying. Like, I'm, I'm gonna drop it. You know what? Anyway, so, yeah, so he wears that stuff for women. And, like, you feel me? Because that's what I've been attracted women. But then you look at that that match. That's an amusement park built for who? Little kids. What type of little kids go there? Little boy. Because think about no little girls, man. But that's even worse. Nah, is it? Wait, is I don't know. know. Here's the thing, though. I don't like his. No, thing. no, no other kid. I don't, no I don't other follow other girls. Girls. I don't know. But is it worse? He said no little boys. Little girls you you both thinking walls. First of all, no, I'm it's saying it their parents, crazy. the parents of little girls, were smarter because they're not going to leave a 40 year old man or 30 year old man with them. slept in the bed with them? I'm shitting. You know what I'm saying? What that is, it's like. Bro, for over how many years, it's always been kind of accepted. It's just like, yo, this is a man child. Like, he in no way views himself as an adult. And that's that's the saying, whole, bro, he got in the interviews, beat. that's the whole Neverland thing. Really Peter Pan. Yeah, his dad kept him a child. That, like, the nigga had no childhood. So his 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 maturity never so went past a certain so, place. Okay, right, so he said, we do this right, but why not this? Now, granted, I'm not defending it, but when niggas talk about Lil Art Cherry, they was like, oh, he's sick because he fantasized with his mom. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I, he's like, sick. Yeah, I, I think Michael Jackson was sick too. He did that, yeah. I think he was sick too. He has a disease, he has a sickness. It was Next mental. Little boys. Next time. Bro, it's just funny going into uh, Dave Chappelle. He made a joke about this shit. He said, um, basically, like specifically, I forget the whole joke. But he he said something like, the "Kids had to um, look, that's the price of a uh, trip to Hawaii," and he had backlash over that shit. The funny thing is, there were families that were affected by the whole Michael Jackson shit. Outside of court settling, he gave them trips to Hawaii, and they did went. Right. So if something's really going on, like you, you gonna take the trip, like Cat when he was there too. When he had his Michael Jackson, like he was talking about. It. Honestly, that's so that's comedian's favorite topic I mean, for, for a while. You gotta have a Michael Jackson joke in your set. You don't have to. So a while, a lot of niggas had it though. That, like, a lot of niggas had that shit. A lot of black comedians. Cat, I think Corey Holcomb. It's really Dave Chappelle. Dave Chappelle. But uh, but not um, like it's like Martin. Martin, yeah, Martin did too, and it was like uh, I know. Cat Williams the one that got the most because I ain't joked about it, but I'm just like, so, like that's how you feel about it. You can't tell me. Yeah. I mean, I feel like at this point, when it comes to comedians, like the world be ready to like rip them a whole new one because they be saying shit that quote unquote shouldn't be said. Everybody's sensitive at this point. Yeah. Everybody's too sensitive. Yeah, it's like, but it's like, yo, it's it's human for me, so it's like, yeah. you taking it crazy. So that brings to another point, like how, like pop culture and comedians and how like they get treated like for instance like Dave Chappelle with yeah. his whole experience like he was saying he do be saying some, some wild shit, shit. Yeah, so? funny, I find it funny should, should comedians be, be exempt from being PC you know what I mean I don't think anybody right? should I, no I think everybody should be cause it's like how you gonna tell me what the fuck I should say correct or not now though it's way too much opinions that shouldn't even be there's always been a page to just one yeah, social media social media, social media. broadcasting yeah. now, right? Like, so in the current climate of society, it's just like everybody's first first reaction is always to be offended. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Especially like, like somebody hit a nerve that they ain't agreeing with. Like yeah, it's not for you to just be mad at. You have your opinion, keep it. I have mine, that's that's fine. Like, be, oh, yeah. nah, people yeah. that try to change your opinion because they believe in like Yeah, the shit you posted on Twitter like Corey Holcomb, right? You yeah, post 
Corey Holcomb, he basically had a joke um, before. Like, I know if he had said that in 2020, he got ridiculed for it. But basically the joke was, his shorty, uh, he was going through a whole joint about, like, um, his, oh, so his, his shorty um, was like, she had a miscarriage, and he was like, I have to pretend like I was actually upset about the shit, right? Was, this is the most fucked up joke you ever heard in your life, I guarantee, and I'm gonna do it. I don't give a fuck. This one girl was pregnant. I knew she was gonna keep it frantic, bitch. I ain't know what I was gonna do, but then a miracle happened. She had a miscarriage in the toilet stool. I know you think that's fucked up, but wait till you hear this. I had to act like I was sad about the shit. <laughs> I was at the stool like, not the baby. <laughs> so then he was like, she said I had a miscarriage, and he said I went into the store. I was like, not the baby, and he's like. Whoo. And he's not watching it, right? But it was a joke. And then, uh, but basically, I, it was Kev that put it. And basically, I'm like, if he would have posted that, said that in today's world, they'd have killed him for it. But it's like, it's a fucking joke. Mm -hmm. like, this funny thing about that, uh, the person that, like, Kev retweeted it, the person that posted it originally, it got taken out of Twitter, and then they had to re-upload it. Yeah, it's like, you, you take that, but it's like, my thing is, if, if for instance, since we're talking about comedians per se, if a comedian has to, if you know that this is their lane of comedy, like if this is what they joke about, like they gonna, they mm -hmm. gonna, they're not, they ain't gonna step, they ain't gonna tiptoe the line, they gonna jump over that motherfucker. Yeah. Don't watch him if, if it's too much for you. Like for yeah. example, my favorite uh, comedian is Bernie Mac. Bernie Mac said, "What the fuck you want?" Like mm -hmm. he called people nasty bitch or this, this like Mr. my kids were You know what I'm saying? Like he called kids like kids a fag. Like mm -hmm. this is what he said, right? He called like uh, he called, like a little fag, whatever the case may be. If he said that today, time he would kill him for him. Bernie Mac wouldn't give a shit. Yeah, he didn't all. care. But it's like just don't watch him. Yeah, the things but people people in today's society and things won't be baby too much, honestly. Yeah. And that's why you're always offended over some shit, because if you ain't never really grew up with tough skin, when someone say shit to you at twenty at year twenty, mm -hmm. your automatic response is like, that shit hurt my feelings. Like I mean, I would grow up my whole life been I had an older brother. You got an older brother, you know you hearing it. Okay. Regardless, no matter what the fuck you do. Nigga. Okay. It's, it's this weird. thing is my friend. Like it's weird. Yeah, look, if I had low self esteem, I'd probably kill myself already. <laughs> like, I mean, I mean, it's not even only that. Like going in the inner city, like kids are niggas, I mean, like niggas be grossing at school. That's what I'm like, saying. It's, it's, it's a game. It's really just like that's black culture in general. They used to call that shit the dozens. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. Never ever happened. What do you mean? Person, so like my friend, like my besides my friend, that nigga, like, oh, like, oh, like oh, yeah, yeah, I don't know. Oh, oh no, no, that never happened. I'm talking about like, like, like just randomly or like y'all in the yeah. same space, like at school type shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. like we in spaces, like we in the space like school, whatever. Yeah. Say we all at the table, but there's some niggas. I'm yeah, saying that that's what they're saying. They want to roast. That never happened. That's what I'm saying. I got roasted at school before. Yeah. Yeah. It's either it's either your only options are fight, shut the fuck up. Or or say something something back. Back. Yeah. But say something the thing back. is though, like with that though, like I only speak like when I used to go to the Boys and Girls Club down south. When I went there, that's how I was immediately. They was, they was, your mom jokes, all that type of shit, right? Like they were just, they, you gotta either come back or you just don't come there. Cause you know that's what you gonna get when you do yeah, it. Every time. But it's like, I didn't look at them like, oh, they bad people. I just, I bet. Now when I go there, I'm gonna start frog. I'm gonna yeah, start bro. picking out every little thing. You got a crooked tooth, mm -hmm. your breath stink. Uh, like I, I see your cousin a crackhead. I'm on you now. Like, you you gotta be like, quick with it, bro. Then you gotta come back. I never looked at it like that's how I am the way I am now. Like people be like, oh, down the jokes be deep. I'm like, all right, all right. I just want to joke with you. And if I can't joke with you, then you already know what you're saying. Mm. I'm saying that's why at this age, somebody say something, I gotta come back quick because. I spent years getting my ass cut and not being able to say shit. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Exactly. Like, you can sit there just like, mm -hmm. yeah. You got the ass like, face like, mm -hmm. you have to <laughs> wear it. If you say a joke for me, unless it was just some clever shit, it was like, well, nah, I was clever. Mm -hmm. Other than that, I'm coming right back mm -hmm. and we're going to keep going. And then we, when you stop, I'm going to keep going until See? you feel it.
Steve, Steve, that's your feelings, Steve. You will never want to challenge me again. Ever. Are you going to just know now? I can fuck with him. Yeah. Run Popo, yeah. Run Popo. But yeah, as far as the PC shit, that shit is not I don't. I never okay. feel as if you should have to like. Take, you should have to censor yourself. Yeah, like, like never. Yeah. The thing is, what well, came out, and that's the thing. Like, comedy has always been truth. Look at it though. Yeah. Especially like within the black community, comedy has always been truth, and it's always been a play on truth. <laughs> and the best comedians can always give you something to think about within a joke. Mm-hmm. That's why like, my favorite comedian has always been Dave Chappelle, because he's so intelligent. Whether it was like the Chappelle show with his skits or just his stand up, mm-hmm. you're always going, no matter how severe the joke is, there's always some underlying intelligence, underlying lesson. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. He said, um, not too long ago, it was some shit about, uh, he said, it was a dude he went to high school with, hit him up randomly. He was like, yo, you got your tickets for your show, your next show, whatever, whatever. Yeah. He said previously he found a dude was gay, but it wasn't a big deal. So a dude came to his show. I know, I know. Exactly, you know what I'm talking about. A dude came to his show. He said something about. Uh, no, he was on the phone with the dude. And he said something about gay people. Mm-hmm. He, he doesn't really listen to the nigga, and then he said something like, "Yeah, they ain't, they ain't, bro. So you fuck dudes. Everybody fuck funny to somebody." Mm-hmm. Dude got tight. He's like, "What you? What you mean? Everybody What's funny? Fuck what? Everybody fucks funny to somebody." He was like, what you mean I fuck funny? <laughs> he was like, hey man, I fuck feet. <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck? I have a question, I have a, like, do y'all think David Spell is funny? Yeah. Yeah. You know? Do you find Kevin Hart funny? No. I, 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 I feel like he was stellar when he was younger and yeah, then his, yeah. his his uh, act just kept being repetitive. Yeah. Because he's yeah. he's animated. But That's really what makes it funny. Joe Budden and them started, I was watching that today. They basically, um, because Kevin Hart now, since his uh, recently zero fuck is given, is what it's yeah. doing, I think. He's been getting a lot of criticism for it from like comedians, like, oh, I don't think it was funny. Like, mm-hmm. that wasn't for us, meaning black people. That was more so for the white people, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because even in the audience. You know what I mean? Like, because people was like, his jokes back then when you had. Seriously funny, laugh at my pain. Laugh at um, my pain. It's great. Um, mm-hmm. Grown little man. Grown little man. That was hilarious. He had another one he did in like some laugh house or whatever the case would be. He was there mm-hmm. like back then when he was more so that wild, raunchy, like kind of raw comedian. Mm-hmm. Now his jokes, it's like. <laughs> He's inclusive. He and don't want to offend nobody. Like, you know what I mean? Like now, because what they were saying was now his. He's looking at it more so like how you have the comedians like Dave Chappelle. Dave Chappelle don't really give a fuck how white America views him. At all. Like he gonna say what he gonna say, either you gonna you gonna take my shit, either you gonna try to censor me or you're not gonna watch it or get me. But I have an obligation to the people that have watched me for this long to stay this way. Like even mm-hmm. that season I know that his jokes get more wiser, but he's stiff. Like if I think it was like he was on Saturday Night Live, mm-hmm. He was throwing in some jokes in it, but he was being dead serious. Maybe talking about like Netflix not paying him. Mm-hmm. And like he was throwing a joke in it, and it was like, haha, at the time, but he was dead serious. They're not paying him. Like, yeah, I thought that was a joke. Then article come out a couple days later, oh, they dead not paying us. Right. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And then, so, and people are like, Kevin Hart now, he's just trying to appeal to the masters, and mm-hmm. he doesn't really want to appeal to us anymore more. Like his jokes are now for them. And that's why he was like, oh, people love my, uh, my people don't like my current shit. They can just go back and watch my old shit. Niggas like should have that mindset as a comedian because you're yeah. basically alienating. Yeah, I have a, his whole I, thing gonna die down. Then. Yeah, I have a point on that just real quick. It's crazy. Like, I think we were talking about you asking me like how I make music and like in poetry. Like, as an artist, you can't focus on the audience. You know, so you can't create specifically for the audience. You just mm-hmm. create for yourself. Mm-hmm. So and that's in any aspect. If you find some shit funny, it's funny you. That's what you should dish out to people, you know what I mean? Because you're going to constantly be at this tug this, this tug of war fight with, like, who fuck with your shit and who don't. But it's like, at the end of the day, it's your content. So what are you going to be happy with when you produce it? You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. are you going to be sound like, nah, I don't fuck. Okay, you didn't like it. Okay, cool. You fuck with it? My nigga, but. Mm-hmm. I just peep that a bottom, bro. I just actually just Why realized. Why just peep that? No, I didn't notice him for a It's crazy. It's pink at that. 
You know what I'm saying? Like, right. like, you feel comfortable? Right. Yeah, I'm just right. a lot comfortable. I ain't gonna let you feel water a body. Do you watch comedy? Nah. Huh? Do you watch your comedy channel? No, you don't need more shit. I used to OD though. Yeah, I did. Yeah. I used to OD. I used to wear a car action. It's like wearing baggy jeans. Bring me back. Man, different people. Thank you, Scott. It's like. It gets corny after a while. At least start coming out and shit. Yo. Yo, you be weird too. Yeah, I got a favorite. Uh, yeah, I got a favorite joke. Favorite joke. Favorite joke. Your favorite joke. Favorite segment from your, uh, or even favorite stand up. Damn, no, I had one. Too many. Hmm? I got too many. I don't be Bernie Mac jokes, but <laughs> with the voice too. I'm about to say you throw out what? Time. I knew you always had me. You nasty son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, it's just the way he joked because listening to him, it reminded me back when I was growing up, like how they, like you feel me, how he sound and everything. That's how it sounds. So like, it just is always funny. Like when we was talking about the, you know the clip he used with you. <laughs> like, like sex, I don't care. Like, I don't have sex with Like you know, it doesn't matter. But like intimacy for me. Nasty bitch. Nasty oh, bitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was talking about a woman farted on his dick and he just. <laughs> 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 he was like, and he did it and like he just. So was I never like, had a shorty fart. Yeah, ever. Yeah, no, 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 no. no. It wasn't. It wasn't the fart we talking about. Yeah. Like really. it was from the butt. Feet? No, it no. wasn't the fart. Yeah, that's the actual fart. Yeah. Well, that's tough. Yeah. 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 And she tried to call over the shorty. And the you thing was, his thing was, was like, she must have asked on your dick. What? You was probably sleeping, she farted. I'm not sure, have you never had a shorty from you? I'm sure it's happened. I'm sure yeah. it's happened. Hold on. You be cuddled up with a shorty. She fart on me? <laughs> if I, oh, bro, you be sleep. I didn't know. So she probably made a sound of a You be sleep, it's probably happened. Silent. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Spiders you swallow in your life? No, because you were sleeping. How the fuck you know this? How? Hold on, bro. How? How you? I'm saying, how, like, the, talk to me, bro. You the part? That's a fact. Right now, yeah, you was, okay, okay, let's go back. Let's go back. You was spider. 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 You got to be Spider-Man world, bro. You got to be Skip just saying. Nah, that's an actual fact. I mean, that's an actual fact. That's an actual fact. But my thing was, it was like, all right, so we get from the farting to spider. To spider. I didn't get the same. Bro, when I'm, my I, whole thing I, 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 connects is the sleep, the sleep part, the not knowing. Yeah, that's that's what connects. Okay, I'm okay. sorry. Okay, all right. Let's say you cuddle with a show you a hundred times. <laughs> you telling me I not don't one of them hundred she had gas? It's funny how you look up when he's trying to make the connection. He said, but all right, okay, cool. But my, so, no, no, nah, nah, yeah. I was curious what she gonna say. I don't know what you wanna say too. I was just gonna say me. I'm not a like. I don't cuddle all through the night, bro. After like. After I go to sleep, after 30, I move the fuck up. Bye. I'm moving my sleep, so I, you so know, you I don't wake up. So you yeah. ever had a show that she did not fall on you? On me? Yeah. No. Like when you spoon and touch. That you know of. That first you know of. That to me is just. You know spoon? That's just weird. That's gay? The spoon is. You know funny? I stopped from spooning and he said. Nah, this is just gay. I said, nah, that's, 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 that's a weird position for me to go. Why is that weird? I'm I mean, not about to be like this. Yeah, oh, right. the side. That shit to me is just weird. Oh, like, white nigga. But that's spooning. Like, color in general. He said it does. You don't want to spoon it. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. My leg color is wind hitting my wait, ass. Wait, hold on, wait, hold on. 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 That's what I'm saying. I, I'm okay, saying that okay. before, I can't do that. That shit is uncomfortable. First of all, my, I have a bad fucking neck and back. That hurts. I'm like, this <laughs> on my back. You come on in the wind and we can chill out like that. But I'm not about to sit and spoon. No, hell no. Get I, mean, I wouldn't do it for that long. Because, like, you know, I, I like, like the show these I like, I like, I like, I like the spoon sometimes. You like the spoon? I like to be sometimes. little spoons sometimes. I, I, know. For the, for I like long. to be held. Not, 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 not. I like, like to be held? Yeah. 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 Uh, you like being little spoon? I've never been. I've never, never been, been little spoon. I've never been little spoon. Even for like never five minutes, big for that shit. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, you can't. Yeah, 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 yeah
That's tough. It fits his description. That's tough, then. That spoon is like five nine. Bro, right? he lets women put him on their back. All right, why, why, why we out with niggas? <laughs> ah, he do. Bro, everybody's public now. Like, oh, okay, like, my bad. Well, now it is. Now it is. This is on the interwebs. Listen, like, as you can tell, so at this, at, I, as you can tell from this point, I'm usually yeah, like I'm jumped on the shorty back. Oh, I actually did. I did it multiple times. Yesterday, man. I jumped on the show. Did she let him carry you? Yeah. yeah. I even did a touch for him. Carry me, babe. Let's go. Let's wear it. I don't know. 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 Ain't no wrong with that. See, that's a shame. That's a shame again. Not even that, because I'm with you. Because, like, okay, the two times that it happened, the two times that it happened, one show, the first one, the first time she was told that I jumped on on her back. And I literally was like, come here, and I jumped on her back. And then she literally, like, just walked, but she's taller than me, right? The second time, the second time, she was shorter than me, so she had to literally, like, get low and then, like, Put me on her back type shit. So that's why I was like, all right, whatever. Like, yeah, so I, I wasn't half far from the ground, but I was like, my fingers were like, what did you, you, you gain from that? Position? That's all I said. It was fun. It was fun for you, okay. Mm-hmm. But I do whatever, man. You do whatever? Play. Stop. Wait, stop. Hit play. 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 Hit Mm, oh Jesus! <laughs> I like that shit. It's funny because I'm used to hearing that from this nigga. He do that shit all the time at work. <laughs> you know what? Put this your bed. Um, I wouldn't say joke, but I'd say like the original kings of comedy. That whole show right there. Mm. That that's my favorite. Go oh, ahead. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like Steve Harvey. My my favorite comedian. It's Cedric Entertainer. I feel like he's super funny to me. Like his jokes is always- he's still funny. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like his jokes is always, he, he can go left, he can go right. Like he could be an asshole, but then he could be, all right, now nah, I'm gonna say it's the right way, but still be funny with it. I feel like, mm-hmm. but I don't have a, like a specific joke, but that show right there, that's my favorite, I'd say. So that whole set. Mm-hmm. Besides D.L. Hughley, I think he's not funny. Really? Yeah, I don't think he's funny. Nah. I think he, he has some, some, he has some jokes I have to Man, give me one. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> so really yeah, DL Hughie isn't like quotable. Like yeah. he got funny interviews. I never watched like a stand up where like a straight through I just watched that shit and like I was dying. I've watched like him in segments of interviews and shit and he, he'll say some funny shit and I'm like, oh. Remember remember his TV show? No. Exactly. <laughs> I never watched it. Exactly. That's the thing. Never exactly. I'm just saying, though, all the kids of comedy had their own TV show. He had one. He don't even remember it. What was the name? Steve Harvey Show. It was the Hughleys. I don't know. It was the Hughleys. The Hughleys <laughs> Show. Yeah. I didn't remember that. Okay. I thought it was the Hughleys. Just alright, right. You got it. Got it. Show. Oh, that shit. It. I don't remember nothing from that show. A lot of them they shows the name. Yeah, yeah Steve like Harvey. Show. Show. Steve Harvey show is fire. Jimmy Fox. Tony Jimmy Fox. Jimmy Fox is top. Not Jimmy Fox. Jimmy Fox is this is this top, bro. Jimmy Fox is top. Chris Tucker. Chris Yo, the, Chris the funny Tucker. part, right? I see, I see some shit with um Steve Harvey. He was saying that um when he first opened up for the Apollo, it was uh he had the last show, and it was Jamie Foxx there too mm-hmm. before they knew each other before they was popping. Jamie Foxx got booed off. Yeah. Mm-hmm. D.L. Hughley got super booed off. Niggas was not fucking with him. Mm-hmm. And he didn't get booed off, but he didn't get the response that he wanted to give. Right. I just found that was super funny because before. They even know who Jimmy Fox know. is yeah. for each other, like. Out of all of them, the funniest one always is Bernie. That's right. what just happened, like, cause Bernie was just the one, like, like when the night was probably to die, like, he would just come in and he'd just take the whole shit up. Like, mm. like, I think my favorite. Man, need to. Oh yeah. I mm. think funny. I think my favorite. I want to say joke, but like segment. It's actually recent. He just took um the place of a lot of Jamie Foxx shit. It was Dave Chappelle. He he commented on. All right, let me let me do the second first, and I'll explain it afterwards. He said he first got a payday from Chappelle show. <laughs> um, I'm just paraphrasing because I clearly I don't remember word for word. He had fifteen thousand dollars in his backpack. 
He said he was terrified of walking the street with something that everybody wanted. Mm. He grabbed the shit up afterwards and saying, that's what it's like to be a woman. Mm. Yeah. Well, he said that shit, I was nah, like, that's, that's a fact. That's that's a when he said that shit, I was like, wow. Yeah. I mean, I see what he did there. Yeah, yeah. He said he was terrified to walk the street with something that everybody wanted because they might take the shit from him. Mm-hmm. And he said, that's what it's like to be a woman. I think a why, son. The way he, now the way he makes his jokes, son, and I come back in a, in a, in a full circle way. Full circle. It's funny at first, but then it gives you like something to think about. Mm-hmm. It's clever. That's what I'm saying. That's why he the goat to me. Yeah, I fuck with that. To me, he my favorite comedian. He goat. To me, he my favorite comedian. I don't see. I can't debate that off camera. Yeah, yeah. If you forget about Eddie Murphy. I, that's my favorite part. Man. My I girl see. likes to party all the time. Yeah, party all the time. Yeah, the red, the red drink. Yeah. Oh, oh, the full leather? Yeah, yeah. Bro, the there is one of the two. Yeah, I remember when Martin Norris passed out when he, when he did that shit, I think. <laughs> he had a, like, he he had on, like, black leather, he passed out, though. Hmm. Yeah. yeah. Um, a, a whole black leather. Yeah, yeah, he had a whole black leather. Yeah, I mean, Eddie Murphy did that and performed the whole show. Like, Eddie, yeah. Eddie did a couple times. Was... He did the all black and he did the all red one. Yeah, I, saw, yeah. I saw how the lights look for when they do the, the stand up. It's just hot. hot. It's hot. And it's hot. hot. Like, you kind of have leather on and be doing the whole <laughs> and six or something. There you go. Taking like, that shit off. You're like, yeah, word. I'm just like, bro, I too. Yeah, that shit is. They throw that. But I would say new comic comics now, comedians now, or. I would say Chico and Carlos Miller, those are probably the next two. I would say oh, yeah, they, new generation. They mm-hmm. those Chico B is an asshole. And Carlos so Carlos Miller to me, I don't even think he but he when you see his anyway. But mm-hmm. if you realize it, he could be like another kind of Bernie Mac ish type of comedian. Cause like the way his jokes is, Chico same way, D mm-hmm. D C young fly, he just he's just animated. He's yeah. Old, yeah, he just and his animations is really gonna make him funny. Mm-hmm. He just say far left shit, but <laughs> yeah. uh, Piggyback off of what you were saying before uh, about who you make music for. How you feel about this Grammy situation? Oh, um, the Grammys ain't for us, in my opinion. I don't think, and I honestly like Megan won what um, best artist, best artist, best, artist, best, artist. best rap, yeah, yeah, best new rap artist. And listen, I stand by my woman, Ten Toes, for me, but I don't think she deserved it. I agree. Uh, I don't, I don't she she deserved. She she had the hype. And you know what I'm saying, and had like the, the attention for a long time because she was putting out music a lot consistently. However, she on, had a point on, where she where she it was quiet, and what revitalized like that buzz bu- around her wasn't something positive. Yeah, that, at all. So who do you think deserved it then? Personally, me, personally me, I think little baby, and I'm not even like a little baby stand. None of that with you, but I was in rap music. By far, he, he was he was on it. Feature him or Uzi album. Or you nah, you like Bobby Rich? Bobby Rich, Bobby Rich, Bobby Rich. Rich. Best in New. He didn't. He had box. That's that was it. And that shit. Oh, yeah. his, his, his album is really good. Yeah, right. I'm saying stand up shit. It stood out more than anything Lil Baby right. did. No, it didn't stand up. His album. Yeah, bro, that one one song. Top song but in the whole year. An album. I mean, not album. Album. Yeah, his album double platinum. So a little baby. But okay, you're not. That nigga lost his swing to Gomez. Oh. Personally, rich in the box. He lost. Personally, personally, I did not even listen to Lil Baby album. I heard about Lil Baby as far as artists of the year who had. Uh, so you can't. That's what I'm saying. You say you never listened to it. So that. But no, no, no. no. I'm, I'm not saying that he don't deserve to be there. I'm just saying he oh, didn't okay. say right rich. I'm saying I would put right rich in that conversation. Okay. I'm going as far as features and everything. Uzi and Lil, Lil Baby. He was on a lot of features and a lot of them. Should, most of them did not miss. So that's why I said. As far as not just album, like artists who's just been consistently on. And you the also got it. Like if you saw Uzi on the track, he walked on Lil Baby mm-hmm. saying mm-hmm. shit like he was. He and just it's had, also a time frame. It's also a time frame to where shit can qualify and where shit can't mm-hmm. for the Grammys. Right. You see now, see that's the bullshit. Because now if we're talking about what qualifies for the Grammys, then. I'm talking about strictly time frame. So if it released before this date, if it released after this date, it don't count for this year. It counts towards next year. That's bullshit. It I is. Feel like, it's bullshit. I feel like then that kind of system negates the whole shit. Like yeah, because everybody so remembers cool. it for, well, let's say like somebody dropped the album after a certain date. It don't qualify for this year's Grammys, but it qualify for next year's Grammys. Mm-hmm. The thing about that is everybody remembers it for last year. Yeah. If that person ain't dropped nothing 
for the majority of that year or they drop shit around that time and later on as it gets closer to they ain't drop shit that's out of everybody's mind mm-hmm. i see i see i see some shit where lost me don't quote me on this it was either like the hip-hop album mm, no hip-hop album yeah i seen it had a nigga name not a nigga name it had a freddie gibbs album freddie oh, gibbs album was tight it was I, freddie I, I gibbs was tight it was freddie, freddie gibbs voice that five shit nine. Royce the five nine. I, I hear what you're saying. Um, no, me though. I'm just going over the nomination. Like, I got a question. Why they did, can rap? Why, why did like, they lose you? They can because they can rap. I know that, but it was one dude name on there album? that you didn't know. Yeah, yeah. Album? and that's what won for this year. But yeah, those are the bro. nominations. It was, it was nomination. The nomination. It was Freddie Gibbs. Oh. Royce the five nine was there. Lil um, Baby wasn't up there. Nah, Lil, Lil Baby wasn't. It up was there. nobody current. It was like a bunch of names. Let me look it up. Let so look it up. my thing is right. Like I've heard that album. I heard Freddie Gibbs album, and I hear Royce five nine album. Uh-huh. But I'm just like, cause you're not, losing me a little bit. That's you know what I'm saying? 2020's hip hop arms of the year went to Run the Jewels by R. I don't know who the fuck that is. Like who? R. That's the thing. It's R. T. J. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's for um, uh, Killer Mike and his group. Oh okay. J. D. Kiss. Yeah, no, I'm J. D. Kiss. I'm gonna go hold you. I feel like Freddie Gibbs album was more of a rap album than it was a hip hop album. That last, his last album, this definitely was a rap album. Yeah. Really? Mm-hmm. If you go back. Oh, yeah, it was. Oh, shit. Mm-hmm. I don't know. They would do some weird stuff. Because they really said they seen names you've never seen before sometimes. Like, Bro. Yeah, but the thing is, like, it's so confusing. It's, it's like, like who's picking you? Over, uh, Kendrick. Oh. Yeah. Bro, I was like. For the, for the, was it the Chase song. or whatever? Huh? I forgot the name of the, the, the album or the song, The Chase or some shit like that. It's something, but it was like something you never heard. Oh, no, it was Michael, like, Michael Moore beat, beat, beat um, Kendrick. Kendrick. Yeah. What year was that, 2016, 2015? Yeah. He, he, apologized, apologized, yeah. he apologized for it. But he it was like people was giving him back because he was like, bro, first of all, you want it, you want it. Don't try to go yeah. off, like, text him, then you post it. It's like, bro. No, no, yeah, like if you gonna do it like that, get up there and be like, yo, I don't yeah. deserve this, and like actually, like yo, I, I'm not accepting this, and give it to whoever. But then again, yeah, as I'm as an artist, I'm not gonna accept. That's, that's not his fault. That's, 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 that's me. That's me. Yeah, that's that's personally, I feel like I don't deserve something. And going wrong my by my day. If I'm hundred really percent and truly in my heart believe I don't deserve something, I'm not gonna take that shit. Yo, so you put we in the same lane, bro. We in the same lane. So if I win an award outside of you, I don't know. You gotta just tap. But yeah, I, it, that did that Macklemore shit. It just. Mm-hmm. I've never been under the, the impression that the Grammys was for us. That's why we end up having our own, like the Soul Train Awards, the BET Awards, shit like that. Even BET Awards. I don't really either. I haven't, I haven't been big on like following any of them. So I haven't seen BET Awards since like Bones and Park was on. I really haven't watched BET Awards in years. It's, and it's always that disconnect because it's just like one who's actually picking these albums exactly. it's, not it's not us it's not us but exactly. you could argue it's like do we really know what we want do we really know what's good so we know what we like but do we know what's good that's a hit of music has a wider demographic of white caucasian fans but also to can't really say that because like we it might be stuff that we make different you know, too so if i pick like for example he said Roddy Rich, right? Mm-hmm. But like, let's say our person was like, hell nah. And, but I picked Lil Baby, but he felt like Roddy Rich one. He still would be like, oh, but I felt Roddy. So either way, it's always going to be. Mm-hmm. Even go back to, um, it was album of the year, Cardi B beat Nipsey. <laughs> like, I mean, yeah, I mean, Nipsey, yeah. Nip- Nipsey album. That's, it's, yeah. it's old, but isn't it? Let's be honest. But I'm saying, when you, when you talk about album of the year, you going on content or you going like, yeah, I'm going on numbers. I'm going on content. So who you think won that? Hey, I'm mean, like, just out of those two nominees, I'm putting Nipsey over Cardi. I ain't listen to Nipsey, and it's not like, to me personally, I didn't think Nipsey was all that nice. I liked a few of his songs, I'm not gonna lie, but like, he, I don't think he was all that nice. I feel like ever since his death, people have been hyping him up. Yes, man. Yeah, I, I, I didn't really listen to him all the time. That, yeah. yeah, and that, and that kind of got me tight too, because yeah. we had this conversation like, he been listening. I was been listening to Nipsey Baby before he died. So mm-hmm. when he died, then I'm like, oh, you was a fan? But all they could Say tell me the, whole, the only song they know is Rap Nigga. Mm-hmm. It's like, and if you know Nipsey, that's one of his worst songs. Mm-hmm. That's not how he raps. I only really know two niggas that listen to Nipsey. Right, that's not even how he raps. Mm-hmm. It was him and Vel. It's the only two niggas I know that like, 
they talk about Nipsey. Mm-hmm. And then when he died, it's like anybody a fan now? I was like, wow, I never heard no one bump Nipsey up. Yeah. I'm listening to that. I've seen wild interviews, though. I see but like, it's pop, yeah. but you know what it is? It's pop, my fault. But it's, this is pop culture did that. Yeah. Pop culture, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like it's easy because you know what happens? Like how the artist is glorified in a sense. Like and it, it doesn't even have to be about. We all know it doesn't even have to be about their music. It could be like how they look. It could be like mm-hmm. or a, a piece of segment of a clip of an interview. And it's like that's some real nigga shit. Or yo, I want like if I fuck with a nigga, gotta be like that type shit. You know what I'm saying? It's never specifically about the artistry time. and that's when shit like the VMA, I feel like person awards, like awards shows, like, you don't mean shit, you don't mean shit. Niggas did not know about Nipsey, I get to you before, before the marathon and before um, Victory Lab, niggas did not know who Nipsey was. A lot of people, keep in mind, nobody was listening to Slauson Boy's album. Or I always Boy's heard of him. Who's listening to that shit? I know Slauson's album, but I just like, I knew Pressure. When I listened to him, he said nothing that made I'm me. I'm paying attention to his interviews. Yeah. I didn't really pay this one. Yeah, yeah I was like, I'm trying to mess that. It, it'll, it'll be songs that come out strong. I'm trying to mess that. He never said anything to me. I was like, oh, nah, that's fine. I remember one of his albums, I think in high school, I think he was selling his, like, the hard copies from that. I know what you're talking about, yeah. $100. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I remember that. I think he had 100 copies, he sold each of them for $100. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's how you do it, son. That's how they did it back in the day, too. I was like, nah, this got to be a listen, listen to it. I like one song and that was it. Like, but going into, like, for example, right, uh, like, we like some people don't listen to it. Like, that's what people were trying to come at my son Thug, because he was like, Let's you know, get into it. He area. said he only um, listened to, he, he, said he, can't, he said I can't quote you 200,000 songs, and people was like bashing him for it. I can't rap you two hundred three thousand songs. I ain't never paid attention to him. Mm. Never in my life. You I crazy? Paid. You missing out? Right. You missing out? That's Y'all need to work together. That's what you. Hey, look. That'd be crazy. We, we most definitely. That'd Yo, be crazy. motherfucking next move. Just like you went to work with Elton John, nigga. But Elton John was like more like Elton John. The difference from Elton John and Andre is. Elton John, like simplify it. Elton John, Elton John like to kiss ass. What Andre that? like his ass kiss. <laughs> Elton John like, hey, why oh, I love you. I remember what you, your first song. I remember Gucci first song. Uh, when is Goo Wop getting out? Like okay, he just more of like a sweet, fan yeah. type of nigga yeah. to the point where it's like, I'm like, nigga, let's do music. He like, nigga, bet. Uh, Andre more like, yo, this is the secretary. Like, hey, tell that nigga this thug, nigga. Why you not talk like that, though, bro? Fuck wrong. You don't get on the fucking phone, nigga. No, you know, you know what it's like. I ain't gonna bash you for not being able to, to rap to MGD Thousand Phones. I ain't really bashing Thugger at all, but I was just like, I was taken aback because one thing Atlanta has always been, like, praised for is supporting its own. Mm-hmm. So it was just weird for me to, for him to say things like, he was like, why you, never, why you not gonna make an album? Why you not gonna do nothing with 3000? He's like, he said, but you did Elton John. He said, Elton John like to kiss ass. 3000 want his ass kissed. All I got from that was you want your ass kissed. No, no. That's all I got from it. No. I'm, I'm saying, no. No, I said that's all I got from it. No, that's not, that's, no. He said, because he explained it, he said, Elton John, he said, as far as me, he said, okay, so he said like he'd come in like, yo, 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 you dropped that. Yo, I did have fuck with that. Yo, I saw what you got going on. Like, I really love that. I appreciate it. I see what you're doing. Whereas, if you with uh, under 3,000, you got to, like, praise the ground you walking type shit. Like, if he call him, you got to speak to his secretary, this person, this person. Yeah, go do it. It's like, motherfucker, you know me. Just answer the fucking phone. Like, that's his mm-hmm. problem with under 3,000. It's not because if you look at it, T.I. said, you should make a problem with it. He's not. He's like, yeah. And then that's when you got into why this shit never happened. Like so, that's what I'm saying. People just get I, I can under, I, no, 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 I've seen that shit too. I, I can that understand that, but is that a really a reason you said like I, I ain't listening to him? Yes, I ain't fuck with him. Wait, yes, that's so what it's a hundred for hundred. That, 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 that's current. That don't got nothing to do with you not knowing nothing from him before. You know what I mean? I want to do. That. And I feel like that's capping itself because he's war, like I've seen him. There's pictures of him showing to award shows with like yeah. you don't want to jackets with Andre D thousand name on the back. When I grow up, I want to be like Andre. You feel me? I will hold you if I'm like a like a new rap like a new a rapper I guess the new school a new whatever you know what I mean and I like Steve Stacks is out for a minute you feel me so like I see artists I've been wanting to 
nigga collab with since I was like My vocal dad. and shit. Mm -hmm. And I finally, get, I'm on the, pl I say I'm on the same pl platform, but I'm known. You know, and I call you, and we know each other. Like I could call you from my phone number type shit. Yeah, you and you, your phone number. Three people to get you. And you, I gotta go through who's to get you. I'm like, my nigga, like, no funny, like, you make you, the image I had of you is now being deteriorated because yeah. you're not being that person I thought you was. Mm -hmm. So I, 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 can, I can understand that. I can, really I, I, I can see where you're coming from with that. That's just, I love it. It's just weird to like. It's still a little weird to me because. Just fuck, fuck three stacks. Yeah, if you if you can't give me a verse, you can't rap a verse. That's not, that doesn't just mean you don't fuck with three stacks. That means you don't know Outcast shit. And Outcast is Atlanta. And that was my thing with what he said. Like it wasn't. He's like, he, where he from? He's like, that's it not was, my Atlanta. What you yeah, mean? It was, yeah, what he yeah what he what he it's said was like he didn't know what he did. It's it's a a a a but what he what? No, I was gonna say. I'm talking about a moment ago. Um, cause I kind of feel like the way music is now in Atlanta versus uh, Atlanta back then is totally different. It's like you, some people don't even remember that Kanye is from Chicago because you listen to the drill music that's going on now. You feel me? So it's like if he grows up in this area where the drill music of Chicago is this, he's not gonna sit there and think, oh, let me go to Kanye. You know what I'm saying? Nobody thinks of Kanye from Chicago. Like to back up, like, you say, okay, best artist in Chicago. Some people fuck around and say Cheap Keep. But yeah, mm -hmm. Kanye is so a lot of people yeah. now too. You know what I mean? Some people wouldn't even think to say that. Like, you know what I mean? They'd be like, mm -hmm. oh, Chief Keith, like he's Chicago, but you better hold on. You do know like, Kanye is from Chicago. Niggas like, oh, word. Like, I know. Mm -hmm. Like, for example, you and I'm from Chicago too, right? Huh? Yeah, yeah Kanye. Yeah. Chicago too. Yeah. Yeah. Even like now, right? If we, say, if we say best basketball player to ever come, come out of like New York, right? Some people might say Melo or some shit. Jordan's from New York. He's from New York. Mm -hmm. But some people would think Charlotte. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Steph Curry is from. It's from Cleveland. Uh, uh, it's from Cleveland. Like, like, you know what I mean? Like, he was born and he grew up in Charlotte, though. You know what I mean? But you would think of a whole another place. So it's like, mm -hmm. that, that, it's like because that's not how it was before. Like, in Atlanta, there's so many different zones. People like Zone 6. So you probably had a lot of Black, Black. There's so many different mm -hmm. places. So he probably like, oh, he's from like this part of Atlanta. I'm from over here. Like, you know what I mean? I don't know what they do over there. Nah, he said, he dead said, he was like, that's not my Atlanta. What he did for, for Atlanta. Who wants to rap like okay, He said he wants to rap like Like, who, who, who you want to inspire? Like, what? No, nah, we fuck with him. And then Tia was like, what you mean? He's yeah, like, it's your ally. Now, he said who, he said, who said, who you here trying to be like under the devil? He said, who, he said, he who said, who, he said, well, he said, who do you hear out here trying to sound like or be like? Who are you trying to hunt? I mean, that's, that, that's that was what I was gonna know. But it's the super, it's like, like a 25 year difference. I'm saying, but do you see, I mean, that's that's the, do you see, like, how it is the foundation okay. though? Huh? Like, you, if you look at how Young Thug is as far as like optics. A lot of that shit is reminiscent of Andre 2000. He was the one that came out with the perm, the wild. And that's what I was going to say. They, 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 okay, but they okay. broke out a yeah. different style. Okay, when well, Andre 2000 was coming up, but there are, like, how many artists really in me, like, in, 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 in them? Not really, but I would agree. I would agree. Oh, I mean, now. I'm saying, cause when he was coming up, people was really trying to. Like, oh, but the seat, but the seat, but the seat. No, but it's not to that I think, bro. But back then, it wasn't cool to. I mean, you had to have your own style. Not even that. He's not that. He's so cool. But he's talking about influence. And it also wasn't cool when they first started out. How Outkast came out. You know what I'm saying? When like ATL, like ATL. They, they wasn't even. Um, what's the? Uh, what's the? They they joined album speaker box and love below like. That shit, Stankonia, you know what I'm saying? Super like, that shit just fucked <laughs> Like, <laughs> their albums, their albums, when they came out, and they came out with that set, like, fashion style and rhythm for themselves, like, a lot of niggas wasn't fucking with that. They was like, whoa, what the fuck these niggas doing? Especially, especially for Andre. Like, yeah. for, um, Big Boy? The Big Boy, like, that's, at that time, Big Boy was standard. That was standard in ATL. Mm -hmm. Like, that was standard overall. You know what I'm saying? Style-wise, how he spit. Nigga, on the uh, speaker box, I don't love below. Niggas fuck with speaker box portion more than they fuck with Andre's portion. Literally. I did. I don't keep on it. I'm a three stacks fan. You know what I'm saying? So that's that's my top five. Like you mm -hmm. acting that way with me, I'm more of an influence in Atlanta than you is. That's his that's his whole, I guess his whole thing is like I'm more of a mm -hmm. and more niggas from uh, from coming up with is just rapping, you all hear you like that nigga. That is so. that's a decent comment. Yeah, I'm saying that. That's, that's, that's kind of wild. That's, when you that's think, about, when you, tell, back you back see more I've young thug carbon copies than you see but you know why you know why though? I I I I will agree to disagree and that's only because of the fact that nobody's the pushing their boundary to become different. A lot of people want, like, when someone says, like, 
yo, I want to like, like I said, I want to be three stacks, right? A lot of people would take that a little bit too far. Instead of, a great artist is a thief. Like, yo, I will incorporate your shit versus. A lot. Like, what you mean? What I'm saying is like, like yeah, it's like people copying people's style. This isn't doing hip hop. People yeah, no, I feel fine. But I'm saying, but back, I feel like back then, even, even now, it's like, I mean, I can't even say that because I wasn't like really alive or like prep like present in like the rap game like an artist in the industry for me to know and especially because social media wasn't even that big but i guess from my standpoint of view like i i'm seeing more young third copies because i'm seeing you yeah, know i'm hearing here yeah. versus if i go back to like maybe i ask my pops maybe or like my uncles or something my cousins they probably know like oh there are a couple artists that try to copy like your know, outcast and andre three stack style and big boy style mm-hmm. probably they did a versus what they do Cool, Andre and B Stacks, Outcast and uh fucking Keep okay. on running with you, Young Thug gonna win. Okay. Young Thug's gonna win. I think Young Thug not my top five, but Andre 2000 is. Top five what? Top five favorite rappers. Oh, favorite rapper, please. I wish I was good. I was talking about verses. Oh, verses? In a verses? Verses of all, who, who, who rules social media? The youth. So clearly. And that's what I'm saying. It's going to be young thug. You can't do that, bro. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Okay, so we, we can go back to. Songs is songs. I'm saying we can go back to. Okay, but look, it's but audience. Look, remember what, you just, what y'all just when said? When Freddie Hammond did um, a, a verses with Kurt Franklin, it didn't reach nearly the same numbers as, as um, Jeezy and Gucci. But uh, Andre 3000 and Young Thug would, would be numbers. One, a lot of people would want to see that. But, but also, it's two different eras. Mm-hmm. The whole thing about Versus yeah, thing, it was like, yeah. they, they, they've always been trying to keep it tight and keep it with you. around the scene. The Outcast and just these stacks plays this shit. And then, like, Thug. tit for tat. Yeah. Niggas, only all heads gonna be like, yo, that's these stacks. Gonna it's it's gonna gonna all heads versus. Okay, versus, versus, so if we're going, just going back and forth, it's just gonna sound off. Yeah, OD. I'll be like, yeah. yeah. I don't know, maybe because I know both of that shit. So I'm just saying, like, that's you know, what I'm saying. I'm, like, no, I'm, I'm the being this with you, you know what I'm, I'm saying? saying for, maybe it's because I know all this shit, so for me it wouldn't be weird because I would mm-hmm. see what people would try to draw. Like, I saw some people was like, Young Thug kind of, even though he probably didn't do it intentionally, he kind of is like, from the 100,000 issue dude with the wild dress in the mm-hmm. hair and 100,000 wore like a dress before and so like he, he's done that before too so I can see what people try to draw the parallels or parallels are there so this thing is not everybody's like you bro yo yeah, there's a handful of people who are well versed in both old and new you feel me Very and also you're from the south so that that's, that's really that for you that's instantaneous like I don't say shit Gucci shit versus a nigga like Gucci versus Gucci. a nigga like me I'm from New York so like in a sense like I had to put myself in the room to listen to music from the south especially back in the day that's why more people said Jeezy won than Gucci because people only knew Jeezy shit because his shit was the more main shit mm-hmm. but like, Gucci played a lot of shit from when he first was like getting put on and those who know you know Gucci won that shit because I put Brad it was a lot of songs that probably played from Jeezy niggas did not know. Like a good portion, but they know those main songs you heard on the radio a lot. Mm-hmm. But underground, and he had all bad albums and mixtapes and singles. He's putting up bad shit. And all this older, said. yeah. That's the that's the perks of having an older sibling. Honestly, there's a lot of shit that I know I wouldn't know that if I ain't have an older sibling, mm-hmm. or like if I ain't really like go through my mom's CD collection. Bro, I wouldn't know nothing about half the the shit that we put in the chat. The old that old old shit. Three D shit off my own. I'm saying to a certain point. When you start I, to, like, to a certain point, you start like, yeah, with you realize like, you fuck with this, then you do your own. But like that, that root that started, I got that from my my mom and my uh, my older brother. What's your name for? About what? No, you was gonna say earlier though. Yeah, you, everybody trying. No one tries to pave their own lane now. As far as like, yeah, they you copy don't. each other. They don't. You know, and and Outkast was one of the first ones to come out out of Atlanta. So it's like, and be successful. Niggas wanna fuck with that niggas, bro. So now though, and now it's like, you know what I'm saying? You can find a rapper every corner, and everybody's so, so That's close. Every, you know what I'm saying? But it's crazy in Atlanta. Like, they coming out every week in Atlanta. Niggas not coming out every week in New York. There's always a nigga with dyed dreads and mad tattoos. Mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. Atlanta fake run shit now. Yeah. No, they really, really do. do. Yes. They do. And it's like. South is coming back with that. That's, it's they, cool. that's, the, that's their culture, too, though. I love it. That's mm-hmm. their culture, though. The fact that they're able to build each other and make crunk music great, though. It's like. Oh, hey, like, you be like, fuck that nigga. 
<laughs> but you know what it is though, because even though like you may say niggas in Atlanta all sound the same, right? Everybody like Gunna, people always try to say Gunna and Young Thug sound, they really don't mm -hmm. always sound like Gunna kind of has his own flow that he kind of does. Finally, this is one of those bass. If you not really listen to that right. shit though, if you listen to things in passing and like whatever song is just out, you gonna think like, oh, these niggas sound the same. But when you really even sit down and listen to this shit, even in new shit, they don't sound like that. Like, Thug has a whole different pattern that he does than Gunna. Like I know. I have Gunna song the pattern, what you gonna do? It's totally different from Young Thug shit. He's a Young Thug has a pattern. You know what I mean? Like, it's just, to me, it's just different. Lil Baby's different. Future's different. Like, you know what I mean? All them niggas is different. Now, you go to New York, literally every song sounds the same. What's the name of this nigga that he, 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 he trying to sound like Pop Smoke? Uh, he uh, really uh, sound like one nigga. What's your favorite rapper? Dusty Locan? Dusty Locan. I can't remember the name. I can't remember the name. <laughs> You played that shit for me. I really thought that was a, like an unreleased pot smoke. Yeah. But I mean, honestly, imitation is the best form of flattery. So I think that's what it's called. That's what it's yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, I mean, it's, not, it's not the best. It's, no, it's not the best. It's, form of it's the highest form of flattery. Yeah, there we go. That's it's kind of crazy it. how much rappers you see come out that came under the under the Gucci umbrella. If you think about it. Yeah, mm -hmm. like it's a lot of rapping. He put books. a lot of paper in his pockets, bro. Mm -hmm. Like a lot. You think about it, son. From the Waka to the Migos. to the Migos to yeah. the Young Thugs yeah. to to a lot of. Hold on, like, I seen something this week that shit got me. Cause to do off that point, nigga said Drake Don't. put all these niggas on. Don't. So one of them they said was uh, mm -hmm. Lil Baby. Another one that they said was they to say Migos. Okay, yeah. so. Drake attached himself to niggas on the rise. That's what he yeah, do yeah. to make it look like, you know what I mean? Yeah. To make it look like he brought these niggas up. To make it look like, oh, I knew these yeah, niggas before they was hot. Take but shit. I definitely don't. Uh, uh, a song with Drake, you let me get. Uh, oh, you're you're uh, it, would boost, it would boost the Block boy, yeah. I mean, but you don't even hear from him. He got two songs though. that shoot. Mm -hmm. And I think look like, uh, I don't know. Oh, okay, okay, okay. And I was I, waiting and, for the second one. And I actually no, the shoot came out before that though. Yeah, but yeah. my thing is though, I actually tried to listen to like his 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 shit. It's disgusting. And it's just nasty. It's horrible. He's, he's horrible. You'll get that hit from Drake, but if you don't already and it's like, got it, he really got it. He's horrible. He's horrible. <laughs> yeah. Black was horrible. I, at first I was confusing like nasty. He's like, horrible. Oh, where is he not? Like, he's trying. <laughs> <laughs> if you got that following already and you actually got the material of like that Drake cosign will get you that hit and then you'll have your whatever you produce will have your staying power. Yeah. Mm -hmm. your shit but if you don't like got it, long. you get that Drake, you get that little number one, and then that's it. Mm -hmm. uh, I just got one more thing before we all finish, right? Just quick. So I think I posted this shit yesterday on Twitter. It was basically uh this girl called Poor Minds. And um, basically, and I'm gonna put the clip in the shit for y'all. But basically, she said that um, she can't fuck with no dude. No, what's proper? We seen the pussy. What's proper pussy management? I'm fucking on niggas who don't do shit for you, who letting you be out here down bad and you fucking that nigga. What the fuck? That's poor pussy management. What's down bad? What's down bad? If I'm fucking a nigga right. and he good and he straight and he got right. his shit together and stuff, right. but I'm over here trying to figure out every day what the fuck I got going on, how I'm going to do this, how I'm going to do that. Right. And this nigga fucking, he can call me every day to fuck on me, but right. he, he know what I got going on, right. but he ain't trying to help at all. Right. That's poor pussy management. Okay, why you right. fucking on that nigga? So it sounds like you have great pussy management, but horrible mental management. Because why the fuck can't you figure why out what you want to do with your life? Well, I'm, I'm just saying. <laughs> like, we adults. Why the fuck do I got to figure out I'm what you want? I got to help you get to a better position in life because I want to bust a nut? That's a hell of a responsibility. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. You keep talking about them in the I'm pussy management is cool, but what about the mental management? You constantly fucked up. I can't figure it my man and I just, and you just want to just keep fucking and I can't figure out what my bills and I just don't know what's going on and I just, oh my God, and I'm in my boutique, ain't taking off like I thought. That's like, She's trying to get her shit together. Like they're saying he's up. He's established in whatever he's trying to do his career, whatever the case may be. I think I know quickly too. And she can't fuck with no dude as if she's struggling trying to figure out her shit and if he's not trying to help her, like, yeah, like helping her get through where the fuck she gotta go, then he can't fuck. Like, she's like, oh, I don't, I'm not fucking no dude. Yeah, I pick up. That's like, so, okay, so let's say she got like a, uh, uh, 
like a business she trying to do. She trying to just figure shit out in life, right? Mm-hmm. She said, oh, I'm not fucking no dude that if he got his shit established, she's not trying to help me out. No, she and Chico saying, Bean basically was like, so basically what you're saying is, a dude, he said a dude gotta help you figure, get your boutique off the ground, figure your life shit out, all that just to bust a nut. Like, what the fuck, that's unrealistic. She was but saying, that's saying, she was saying it's poor pussy management. Poor like, pussy management. a nigga that's, that's good, but see her doing bad. It don't make efforts to lift her up. Like, it's, really at me. Well, sorry, but it's really crazy how the, the price of pussy has become so tangible, son. Yeah. It's fucking wild. I know, know this shit. That's no, shit. Playing, but I know it. <laughs> yeah, but I then in the same, just real quick. Yeah. But, then, but in the same thing, he was okay. So what if you was up? And it was a dude that he had like stuff he was trying to get put onto. Like he was trying to you get shit out. She was like, no. Like she said, he was like, but he got potential the same way you have potential. Though. She was like, I can't fuck a nigga for potential. But he was she like, said, we too old. She said, what she say she was? She said she was 20. She was like, he's like, like, if he 21, 20, that's like, he must be 21. But it's like, so it's like in the same breath, you got potential that you want to get help you out with, but mm-hmm. you, you want to return it. Yeah, return it. What would y'all take on it? Nigga, niggas don't ever have the leeway. So, you know, as a man, you never really want to have that leeway because you're viewed, not just like, not say women gave us this view, because honestly, we established this uh, gender norm years and years back. It's the man that's supposed to be a provider, head of household, He's supposed to make the decisions. He's supposed to make the most money. I, I would have whatever. So we never gonna have that leeway because one, we in a in a manner of speaking, we dug that hole for ourselves. And then two, it's just like I know the way I am. I'm never really gonna feel 100 percent comfortable if I'm not. I don't wanna say in charge, but I gotta be a certain place in my life to where I I, I don't gotta feel like she's helping me. She's lifting me up like that. They. Like, Granted, life happens, and you know you might you might have a, a a season where you're not doing so well. But overall, I need to have my own. I need to be able to like take care of myself before I, I can even think about being with another person, attaching myself to another person. Mm-hmm. However, the way she was explaining shit, you could always tell in these interviews who really got their own opinion and who really thinks about shit, and who's just going off of what someone else told them. You could always kind of tell because when someone asks them a, a follow up question, they stuck. Mm-hmm. And you could see it mm-hmm. when he asked her. She was like, "Um, I don't, I don't know, like, you know what I mean?" Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I can't really pay attention to people like that. So that's a fact because they, they don't really have anything coming from themselves, like you're saying. But I don't agree with that. That's not cool. Because I mean, like, if you're not going to reciprocate the energy you want, well, well, like you're fake, in a way, you know, that's stupid. That's bullshit. <laughs> No, no, not what you said. Yeah, yeah, not what you said. It's yeah. bullshit. Because what if I don't even like you like that? You know what I'm saying? But if 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 I mean, if, if not, I, but like I feel like exactly right. Stand, but I'm right. saying her criticism wasn't like the way she phrased it. Her criticism like criticism that. wasn't on the man. Like, it was on the yeah. woman. She said it's poor pussy management if I put myself in that situation. Like I'm I feel you, you but you're not trying to help you. Yeah. I feel you, yeah. but that's, it's that's more of a judgment on herself than her women. But that's also to say, right? Okay, so I'm, so I'm speaking for men to respect what she said, right? So, <laughs> personally, if I'm with a woman and, 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 you know, she's doing bad or whatever, if I care about you and I love you, I want to help you, right? Like, that shouldn't be a, a, a thing for you to, to think about. Like, I am willingly want to help you. Now, for you to make that a requirement, now you make a different story because ten mm-hmm. times not just out of ten whole demographic. Who? No, I'm saying that for for a woman if she makes yeah. it a crime, you just cut out a yeah, whole demographic. Like, now you say okay, so this is this is base level for if I'm trying to fuck with you, this is what you I have to do this. Oh, to fuck? It's like you to fuck like you, you, you lost me because <laughs> what about you is? <laughs> it's like what, what what are you doing? Nothing. It's the color. Right? Like what? Like where in your life makes you think that I have to do that for you? That's what she. That's what Chico says. He's like, so I gotta worry about all this shit just to bust it up. That's a big responsibility. Yeah, right. Big responsibility. She that's what he said. I don't need because ten times out of ten, there's a there's a double shorty that requires way less. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But that's even a bad way to think about it, right? Like, I ain't well, out here looking for shoes that don't really. You feel me? Like, I'm, I'm that's just a bad way to feel this way, but like, it's, it's realistic. Because it it if, if your goal yeah. in, this, in the interaction is to get some pussy, 
if that is the specific goal, why would you go to the more difficult entity when you can just go over here where I don't got to do none of that extra shit that you trying to require? Yeah. Not to say like you're bugging for requiring that because I feel like everybody should have standards. Yeah, everybody should have standards. Everybody should have standards, especially like. Hey, huh? <laughs> What's your standard? Bro? What's your standard? Sure, don't got a car. It's over. You can't even get a DM back. Wait, so so your standards now? Sure, you got yep, a car. I'm flipping it back. So they driving me you now? Huh? They picking you up. Yep. They driving you. Yep. I feel they like driving it. to you. Yep. Yo, they showed up. They, they, they showed up. They showed up at your crib. I like it. I like it. Keep it. Keep it. They showing up at your crib on the nose. No. Oh no. No. Oh, no. <laughs> no. Not now. Hello. Hello. Like ring ring. I'm, I'm, I'm downstairs. I'm downstairs. You ain't even know. I bought. I bought. It, I bought. It, I bought, it, I bought it. Bro, basically, what I'm saying is like now I'm flipping. Like you feel me? I'm. I bet. Even though, granted, we should always always have high standards too. But I feel like with dudes, we don't have to like. You need to do this. So, you, but some dudes, I guess. But like, I'm sorry. You know. You know what I mean? We don't have to have like, oh, you must drive a car, or, you must do this, your credit score gotta be eight twenty seven. Like, you don't need all that shit. Just but that goes back to you. and that goes back to the shit. What I was saying, we put ourselves, not we per se, but like men, put themselves in that box. Well, people do that to us too. You got. I'm saying like, but gender norms, historically, they created by men. Mm-hmm. Okay. If you want to get into patriarchy, 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 yeah, patriarchy yeah, all that yeah. stuff. So the man is supposed to do this, that, and the third. So the woman automatically in that scenario takes a submissive role. So she doesn't have to do the same thing. She doesn't have to bring the same things to the table in that format. Mm -hmm. Okay. I mean, am I to, to, the shit, well, to answer the shit, like, it's not cool. I feel like you... It's a real selfish shit. Uh -huh. oh, that's a real selfish shit. Oh, oh, well, I need to keep that. Not good. Oh, yeah, that's a real selfish shit to be, to have that kind of mentality. And also, like, it's a big bag of what you said. I'm dead. Alright, we can. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, yeah, yeah, we have the wide shot. Fuck it. Alright, nah. Oh, cool. but yeah, just basically, like, it's kind of fucked up, like, how you kind of put yourself. Um, like, the provisions, like you said, you know, like, we're supposed now it's like well now you have to have that like you know you, you can't add anything below that or like i'm not accepting anything below that i really personally full of little shit damn how did that girl look that said that shit <laughs> what is that man <laughs> to me bro that's first of all i don't say somebody look good that's yeah. already that's already but like, like in itself because like, anything but even that in itself like, but it's a, it's like, like but now she ugly in the heart like, yeah for you to like you fuck like, i mean then again if it's just for the fuck oh, i guess but then at the same time i'm a person i don't want to fuck you if I'm like busting. let me say this <laughs> that, that's just the recording right yeah all is. right so let me just make this point and i saw this shit on uh you see this shit multiple times on twitter instagram Fuck with people that like you. Cause we all, like, you always see people complaining about shit, like this nigga don't wanna do this. It's cause he don't like you. And you know when somebody like you or not. So just fuck with people that like you. That's it. That's a fact. Mm -hmm. And you wanna run into none of these problems or you just fuck with a motherfucker that like you. Cause if someone like you, they gonna do this at third. They gonna go above and beyond. They gonna, they gonna do base level shit. They gonna respect you. Fuck with people that like you. But, keep it, I'm gonna keep it a stack though. Because of my niggas that don't like like that that likes them. That's what I'm saying. That's yeah. what I'm pointing. Yeah. Cause I know for me, fuck with people that like you. I know yeah. women that, huh? Yeah, that's right. Do whatever I ask. I'm just yeah. unattracted to them. Like, yeah, so I don't fuck with them. Nah, nah. nah. Mm -hmm. what I'm saying, <laughs> but that's not on you. That's on her. That's <laughs> on <laughs> her. Cause she she can tell you don't like her like that. Okay. Mm -hmm. She can tell. Women women are very intelligent, very observant creatures. Mm -hmm. And they got that gut feeling. Yeah, mm -hmm. they, they should be on point. Okay. So I'm saying they should. Like, he ain't show me the time. So you actually. know that nigga don't like you. You just want to fuck that nigga. <laughs> you just want to put yourself in this situation. Well, maybe if I stay, if I do this, he gonna like. No. Nah. The nigga don't like. You. I mean, dudes do that too. But niggas be lying. Yeah, yeah so I'm saying do that too. It's universal. My point still stands. <laughs> fuck with motherfuckers that like you. All around the board. But niggas be lying. All around the board. Yeah, niggas be lying. Niggas be. I mean, niggas be like, yo, I like you. Or niggas like, I fuck with you. People can say or whatever. Easy. Like, I fuck with you. It's so like actions. Fucking blurred, bro. Like, or, I fuck, or, I fuck or, with you enough to fuck. Or I fuck with, with you enough to date. I love for you. Or or it'd be like, shit, like you like me? Hey, you cool? I fuck with you. 
Actions. Like a puppy of vibe. Actions. I know one of my. Kids, my kids. <laughs> <laughs> bro, yeah, man. You said that to a shorty? Me cool. Yeah, I'm not a shorty who's cool. cool. Like, the nigga always telling her, like, yo, I, I fuck, fuck with you. you. Like, he would never. Yeah. <laughs> They be fucking around for mad long, he just be like, yo, I fuck with you. But he be like, I want to be with you. But she's like, all right, so why can't you never tell me you love me if you if you, if you fuck with me? We talking about love, we talking about No, 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 she know, that's what you know, but that's what you know. Like, but she was saying, like, she was saying, like, in the aspect of that thing. You feel me? She, I was like, listen, that nigga don't fuck with you enough if you can't say that shit at least once. Like, in my opinion, y'all been fucking for like two years, but he want to be with you? Like, seriously? Nah. It's a lot. You ever, you ever, you ever been in love? Yeah, I feel like we all have at this point. Mm-hmm. To a certain extent. You been in love here? I don't know. <laughs> the fuck is love? Well, that's, a, that's a nigga who been hurt by love, so yeah. But I'm saying, what is love? Like, yeah. what is love? Everybody can answer different. I feel like. I'm dumb. You ever been in love? In love? Next question. <laughs> I'm gonna say. Nigga, pull the Russell, man. We'll find out next time. <laughs> no. On Dragon. No, I mean, no. From what I see, how it look, I don't know. With, like, with what? If I'm seeing like I've seen people who are in love or people tell me what it is, no, I've not hit that. How have you been in love though? I just said no. Kind of weird. So I had a conversation with uh, one of my female friends a while back, and like most, I won't even say that. Like a lot of women, when you show them some shit, they pick apart what sounds good to them. Mm-hmm and they type that shit. So I, I tend to do this with this female friend, a lot of my female friends, I'll show them something and I wanna see what part sticks out to them. So specifically with her, it was like, the whole thing was um, men basically get tired of women because once we start out off rip with the intention like, I won't fuck with you. So in bagging the shorty and want to be with the shorty, you know, you, you're in full courtship mode. So, you know, you're doing the nice things, not just to fuck with her, because you like her. So, because I like you, I'm gonna buy these flowers for you. I'm gonna do this nice thing for you. I'm gonna take you to the movies. Uh-huh. Women have to build to the point that they want to do those things because they're quote unquote afraid because they don't want to do this shit too early and then they can play them, stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Her whole thing was like, oh, we don't want to do that shit too early because niggas, be, niggas all get comfortable. Like, oh, once we do something like that, would make us look stupid. Mm. What I pulled from that was simply women wait too long to try. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Yeah. No and women, and they'll just they go like, oh, I didn't actually do all that. Yeah, but. And then more than half to actually try, the only thing I know game for it. Let's keep it stuck. At the end of the day. Bought with you? Like, how much did you know that really had game, bro? I mean, but at the end of the day, person. Yeah, like, really, think about that, bro. Yeah. Like, you got, really got no game. You I'm just here. Out of the percentage, out of the, right. the total amount of shorties you mess with, how many of them really, like, did some nice shit for you that made you think, like, you know what I mean? I got shorties to this couple. day. There's one. I got a couple, you know what I'm saying? I got a couple to this day that I remember. I'm like, yo, she really did some shit that no one else did. Yeah, that's a couple. Like, but Londa, bro. Son, I ain't even been messing with her for that long. I ain't been talking to her for that long. My birthday came, I wasn't even spending my birthday with her. I was going with y'all to um, Newport. Bro, she drove me to the station, had a little gift bag for me. Apple juice, my favorite juice. Uh, had a sub in there for me, hot Cheetos. During all that time, I was, I was heavy on hot Cheetos. Like, had a little gift basket for me, all that shit. And that's really minuscule, but like, it showed. One, you pay attention to me, you know, you know what I like. Two, you made the effort to like actually give that to me on my birthday. I can't remember to show you that I actually like did anything for my birthday. Ever, really. Aside from that. What happened? You ain't getting coffee? No. You love him? No. Why not? At the I end of the day, <laughs> everybody. Actually, that's not true. Like, other women have, have done stuff for my birthday. I got a necklace one year and that was really big for me. At the end of the day, like Leon said, find somebody that like you. Where you go? Oh, bro. But. Don't nah, complain when they don't. Find someone that fuck with you, not just like you. Find someone, fuck with someone that fuck with you. Man, I'm saying, that's, find the thing, that's, that's the thing. That's the thing. Shit gets misconstrued when you want to put other vocabulary to the slang and all. Because we give shit different meaning time. these days. The whole like, are we dating? Are we talking? I like that. Like, base level like, shit. Like that point. I, I, I don't like you. I fuck with you. You can tell on a tangent. Leon's in his bag. Nah, because we always try to change shit. Add it to the fire. Nah, we wasn't dating. We we was just talking. 
Listen, uh, <laughs> thank you for coming to episode five. There'll be bloopers of Neon's later events. You know, I have to you know, help you out with that to add some context. But my name is Nate. Booby. No. Lex. Judy. <laughs> 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 I, I didn't know what was going next. This was an open exchange. <laughs> 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 Baby, please, so please, would you turn? Ushered in the box, it's confession, so please let it burn. Burn flesh from the passion. Now it's hot sex, we romanced it. Two dead bodies all up over in your casket. And now it's ashes.